the automatic precision dropper, the auto placer, the fluid collector, oh sorry, the fluid placer and fluid collector, and I think that's that. Is there a way to find what type of item is in front, or what type of block or liquid is in front of the block? Because that's a, another issue. We don't want to scoop up the uh, refined oil the moment it's um, placed and before it, the, the crystallized seed drops into it. It doesn't look like we have a machine for that, at least in here. Do we have a detector or scanner or something like that? A bunch of detectors. Pop detector, player. Detector unit, block detector from Ender.io. What do you do? No idea. Hmm. Scanner from extra utilities. That might be what we're looking for. Yeah, so this is. Scan an error and link to shape cards. Okay. Um, but yeah, this is going to be interesting. How we, how can we find out that the right block is in front of it? But then we also have the whole logic behind it with placing the right items and all of that. And for that, we are going to use XNet. I think. So XNet cable. Uh, are made with string, gold nuggets, and redstone. And you get a whole bunch of them. And then there's also the controller that we're gonna need. This is gonna be the brain of the whole thing. So just a bunch of, just a machine frame and a bunch of other materials and redstone stuff shouldn't be too difficult and then we also need connectors but these are the thing that you put onto the uh oh these sh these shulka boxes in this version oh that's not good <laughs> oh okay they can use chests as well that's that's good to know yeah um and these are basically the thing that connects to machines and stuff like that there's also a manual um, which we can get with the Akashic Tome, which is just dirt. Which I don't have in here at the moment. Yeah, so this is basically the plan. We will uh, automate this today, hopefully, maybe. Maybe it will take a little bit longer. Um, yeah, I also built this uh, Enderman spawner in here. Um, which uses the Ender Tether, I think it's called, to make sure that they cannot teleport away. And then inside here we have the Mob Crusher and just a portable tank to get some of the essence, but the rest we trash in this fluid trash can. And here's the items that we're getting. I think we're doing pretty fine on um, Ender Pearls right now. Yeah. These nebulous hearts are... Ah, sorry for the sound. Uh, oh, wait a second. I haven't actually shared the sound yet. Uh, these nebulous hearts are three ender pearls each. So, yeah. Okay. All right, then let's see if we have some dirt somewhere. This course. This course. I mean, I could just get some because then we get the Akashic Tome and we can use it to get the Xnet manual. Alright, so this basically tells you how to do all of that. So, first things first, we're going to need uh, both a controller and some wires and a connector. The 
Which one is the uncolored version of the S? Because it's okay. Uh, so let's get a whole bunch of gold, lapis, redstone torch, bunch of redstone itself. Um, what else are we gonna need? String. Do we have easy access to string right now? I do think I have a bunch of cotton lying around somewhere. At least cotton seeds. But I think flex can also be used, right? Yeah. Free give to string. Ah, there's the cotton seeds. Let's let's use cotton instead of flex. I just grow a bunch real quick. Yeah, and that's basically the plan for today. At least I want to get some of this working. Maybe the crystallized version, the empowered version, can wait a little bit. Don't want to play for too long today, because I have work tomorrow. I've done this in the past, but not with XNet, but with a different mod for routing, I believe. I don't remember which one it was anymore. But I do have a bit of experience with uh, with this energy setup. It's a very nice mid-game energy setup, I think. So. Let's see a stack of you. Then let's have a look at the controller machine frame. Missing gold and all of this redstone shipping. Make 10 redstone torches. Two Norwegian guys, repeaters, and one comparator. And for that, we're gonna need stone as well as nether quartz. Two of you. And one of you. And then we just need some gold, which I have smelted up quite a bit. Well, quite a bit. Might be a bit of an overstatement. And that's the controller. Okay, let's also create the connectors because with just this we won't get far. Um, for that we're gonna need some more wood. Because we're gonna need a chest, right? Or did I put the... No, so I was lagging. Did I put the chests in here? I had some more chests on it. There we go. Yeah, connector. The chest, some gold, or blue dye, redstone. We have redstone, blue dye, we're missing the gold. Should have taken more with me. Yeah, the game is getting a bit laggy. Maybe it's a server. Three people is a lot, so. And let's make let let's make two connectors. For now, we're gonna need way more later. So, what I want to do, just to try this out a little bit, 
is put one connector on you and then the network cable what was this menu I don't know. how was this put in yeah um, we're gonna call this for example Nola. Nola. Okay, now we are going to put a chest here just to try this out. Mm, kind of work. Maybe it just in the way. Yeah, it was in the way. And then we're gonna put the controller here. And the controller needs energy, I believe, right? Maybe not. So yeah, this basically tells me there is the controller, there's the canola connector, and there's the oak chest connector. Now, when we create channels here, we can have up to, up to eight channels. Um, we can set the type that we want. And we're going to set this to items. And then we can add machines to this channel. Right? Hello? Okay, so it was crashing, apparently. At least I'm getting disconnected. <laughs> Not good. Okay, hello. Okay, so now you do have something here. Okay. Let's also create one here and let's say we extract. So there's a whole uh, multitude of things that you can do here with all of this. Uh, for example, you can say you want to just get canola and we want to insert canola into this chest and we want a maximum amount of five in this inventory so it already placed a whole bunch but now it's placing exactly five each time that is exactly what we want now let's try something with liquids that's also gonna be very interesting. Um, shall we do maybe something like this? So let's say we have a connector here. Let's be And we connect to this fermenting barrel. And then I want the fluid placer. Exactly. So the fluid placer is basically a auto placer with two buckets. An auto placer is some basic coin, some palace, and that's it. So let's go to the empowerer. We put here. And get you. And you crystallized. Oh. Now I wanted more. <laughs> more redstone crystallized. Sorry. Um, now what? Let's do. Right here. And then we can craft this, I think. Here, uh, this, and we already have three buckets, so exactly what we want. Now, I'm going to make a little area in which this can happen. So, you're going to not place upwards, is my 
St. Hemlock. Shout if you spot it. There it is. There we go. So this should place now into here. Um, it's currently set to deactivation. Let's change that to. And now let's keep it at the activation. And then what we're going to do is first of all we're gonna delete this channel and we're gonna delete this whole channel. And then we're gonna change you guys to fluids. Add new. You're gonna be an extraction. And we're gonna filter you to be refined canola oil. And then we're going to insert canola oil into here. And it automatically placed it. Now, what I want to do is somehow detect when we have empowered canola oil. How would we do that? Hmm, block detector maybe? Or the other thing that we saw was a scanner. Yeah, dropper. Spider eye, don't think I have spider eyes. the fluid collector comparator will measure the fluid amount okay doesn't say anything about detecting hmm. the arranged collector is gonna collect is gonna be interesting Of machine, no? Basically, I want to do a filtered liquid collection so that I want to either detect what liquid is currently in front of this or maybe. Only, uh, make, um, put some machine down then only collects this type of liquid. Let's try it maybe with this scanner thing here. Um, but I don't think I have a spider eye anywhere. Let's have a look at my chests. Somehow it's always night when I come out here. Turn on the sound again. Sorry about that. Don't know how loud it is. I think it's too loud. At least it's too loud for me. Okay, that should be better now. Um, there, spider eyes. Nice. 
I guess it, I don't know if this is the thing that we, we're gonna need, but at least we can try it. So, how do you work, my friend? You need to face this direction. Then current block create mode customize flat air. No, this is not flat air. There, refined canola oil. And you're gonna output a. Yeah, okay, just gonna output something. Now, if I put Powered canola oil in here, or crystallized canola oil. Okay. Hello? Ah, server legs again. There we go. Now throw in the crystallized, set it to that block, um, let's move the anvil as well. Are we getting a redstone signal now from you? Please tell me we are. Yes we are, nice! So when I'm now... Um, can I now get the... Fluid collector. Gonna need a void crystal for that. two buckets it's the auto breaker and that's the fluid collector now let's get rid of let's say you and put the fluid collector there instead where is it just had it Happened to my flood collector. <laughs> what the hell? Am I blind? Oh, completely disappeared. There, it's still in here. Didn't show any blocks. Okay. So, you collect this fluid. Now, you don't have a rate or anything like that, and you're just empty. Okay, but this basically works. We can collect this fluid, we get a redstone signal, and this is the important part. We get a redstone signal only when the, good, when the stuff uh, is in here that we want. And now we can create a redstone the clock. What is it called a clock? I'm not sure anymore. Um there was like a something like a repeater that would take an input and tick whenever the input's positive. Transmitter, receiver, randomizer, inductor. Relay? Is it a re no. That's some relays from Farmcraft, that can't be true. 
basically I want to pulse every time the or whenever the scanner is true. Yeah, the pulse former from Project Red. Yeah, that's basically just granite or whatever is melted again for those. And then it's just a empty one. Two of these normal conductive plates, three anodes, which are these. And you get three out of this and three with a redstone torch, cathodes. Two normal ones, three anodes, and three cathodes. Well, as the regular one, that's the pulse former. Now, the pulse former will place here. What's this? Okay, and I think if we do it like this and put you onto pulse mode. We should be able to see Let's crystallize one of your guys and place another fermenting barrel here. And you put this in, then you output energy and you don't do anything. How does this work? This doesn't connect in any way. You did something now. Did you actually pick it? You, I think, yeah, I picked it up. That is, that is, that is exactly what we want. This is how we automate this. Uh, now we just need the precision dropper, and the precision dropper will drop one canola seed whenever it gets one. And we could probably use it, something different for that as well. And it's always going to get one whenever uh, the storage of these is getting low and we're gonna make a system for that. Let's get rid of some stuff here. Just a few things. I'm going to move this into a compact machine later. Basically, so, and you're going to get a single empowered canola seed, and you are on deactivation, which is what we want. We want this to always produce, basically. Let's maybe make a few just to try this out. And I'm going to put like three of them in here. Nice, that is exactly how it should behave. All right. So I would say 
should we put this into its own little small um help me <laughs> into its own small uh compact machine i think so let's get the compact machine blocks that i created earlier if i can find them i'm pretty sure i put them in here because i was cleaning up my inventory blind again you know what let's make some yeah i have enough stuff there's nine but we're gonna need more than that means just one or two iron blocks And we are going to tunnel this whole system, so why is Q not working? Because I'm getting locked out again. Oh my god. Doesn't want to work today. Is it throwing me completely out again? 